in primal therapy and in dreams, we have to follow the same strict order of the brain. That is to say, we have to go down to the bottom of the brain where we all began in ontogeny, which is our personal development, and phylogeny, which is like back in antiquity. So the question is, the question I want to ask you is, why do we have to go back and, and visit birth and before every single night of our lives? Interesting, eh? This, the brainstem, is the complete brain of the reptiles and salamanders, you know, with a little bit of a limbic system, but not much. So that, uh, you know, a um, shark and or a uh, snake has no emotional life whatsoever, none. But the, the difference between the new development of mammals in monkeys and so on is that they have a feeling brain. Dogs, monkeys, apes, they all have feeling brains, including dolphins. And it's exactly the same as our feeling brain. It isn't that we had a new feeling brain. It's that the animal brain was then added on. So each thing here is an add-on. Okay? So when we go to sleep at night, and when we have a primal. This has to recede. The, the cortex, which is the, the left frontal orbital frontal cortex, looks out. It, it, it guides you on the external world. This one looks in and has a map of your entire history here. In order to fall asleep, you have to put this one to sleep at first. But here's the problem. If you have a lot of pain down here. It has long fibers that go up here and keep your brain going. So you can't let go of this. But assuming you can. Then, this is the, you get down into the dream sleep, which is down here in the feeling brain. So in other words, now you go back to the times when we f first had what's called the paleomimelic brain, which is the feeling brain. And the feeling brain was the top brain of these mammals. Okay? From there, you go back another 250 to 350 million years to this brain. This brain is the survival brain. In other words, digestion, breathing, all, uh, blood pressure, heart rate, etc. All these are registered here. And during gestation, this is really the predominant brain, called the brainstem. And so, now, when you go to sleep, you've got to put this to sleep first, then the feeling brain second, which is the dream sleep, and then you go down into what's this here, first line sleep, which is long, slow waves, very slow waves, right? Now, just suppose there's a snake here in the reptilian brain. And we'll, we'll propose that there's a dog here in the feeling brain. When you go down here, the minute you get down into deep sleep, you're meeting your demons. You're meeting your first line imprints so that it's about to get you. And what happens is that when you get down into the low sleep, you are actually on the brainstem. And whatever is down there is going to shake you up. And how it shakes you up, either it wakes you or it produces nightmares. So the survival functions, terror, all that kind of stuff, comes up, surpasses the gates, and comes into your waking mind. And so, for example, we had one guy that had a nightmare of being in a washing machine that was going round and round and round and round. And he was drowning, and he was certainly nothing he could do, you know. When he came out of it, the feeling was right. You know, that was exactly what happened to him. And, but the feeling was so strong that it burst from here to here to here, right? So, nightmares come from here, and they're survival functions. So if you want to find out what the meaning of a nightmare is, you have to go down through this thing to the brain all the way down here, and then you'll find out. Because there you'll know what the demons are. So the question first is, why is this necessary? Why do you have to go back to the birth of time every night of your life? And why in therapy you have to eventually go down here too? The dream symbol provides all the images. You know That's where creativity comes, all the images are covering the feeling, so you have a very bad dream. But if it's a really bad dream, it can't handle it. The gating, the serotonin is not adequate, and it comes all the way up and jerks you into awareness, right? Yeah. And so, 
when you, when you do dream analysis, it's part of, ridiculous as it gets because you're using this brain to analyze this brain, which is millions and millions of years old and has nothing to do with this brain, except this brain came earlier in evolution and dictates what you're going to do here. But this doesn't control this. This controls that, right? Okay. So, when you do therapy, why must you do this? Why have to, you have to go back through the levels of, back 350 million years in your brain every night? Because that's what you do. You become like a reptile. You know, you have digestion, you have your breathing, you have your blood pressure, all the automatic functions that are survival. But if you have trauma during survival, during the gestation, when this is the dominant brain, then when you try to get down into the deep sleep, you're going to have big trouble. You see? And if you're trying to fall asleep and you can't, it's because people who have these long fibers going up here, agitating here, that makes you, your, your mind go. And so they, the, the cognitive therapist, what they try to do is stop your mind from going. They don't realize if you take a pill that shuts this down, your mind stops going. Right? So obsessives are, are acting from here, not from here, even though it looks like it.